Good morning. We're out for our walk and we walked down to the Camino Real Trail. The, the trailhead for this trail is just inside the entrance to Caja del Rio. And you can intersect it uh, coming down from where we're camped at. We are camped somewhere up around that ways. Yeah, so we just, we walked on down till we found the trail. We knew it was down here. We Last year we hiked this quite a bit. We're on Santa Fe National Forest land and all this all this area over here is BLM land. So you can camp over there too. And there's a uh, I don't see anybody right now, but when we came in the other day, there was several uh, people camped over there. They probably were up further, closer to the front. Most people don't want to go back in too far. This is a nice trail. It's uh, uh I believe it's a historic trail, and I don't, I never really did look up the history of it. This is a nice area to walk, and one nice thing about it too is you kind of get down away from the, all the, the roads that people have blazed through, and, and, you know, they haven't come down here and dumped at least yet. Thank goodness. You might hear some gunshots off in the distance. That's because there's a uh, firing range area on into the National Forest Ways. Hi, baby. Make sure we got everybody. Yes, we do. Okay. I locked the van up because I knew we were going to be away from it you know, for a while and for a distance too. So locked her up and we cut, took off. really nice area here and you can tell from some of the tracks bicyclists use this also a lot it'd be a nice place to bicycle pretty skies hi buddy We probably haven't walked this a lot, uh, too much more than a mile or so, you know, and then turned around and went back. And that was last year. I don't, and that was with Coda with us. She would always be a good motivator to the boys, keep them going. <laughs> These guys, they, they could probably go a mile without any problem, but... You know, when you figure mile out, mile back, by that time they're getting tired. They're ready for their nap. <laughs> Here's a trail marker. Oh, I see a, oh, I wish I could have got a shot of him. A long-haired uh, rabbit. El Camino Real, historic route. And let's see. The uh, little symbol in the center says El Camino Real de Tierra Adentro, something like that, National Historic Trail. 
El Camino Real. Hey, boys. We'll go a little further, okay? You still got everybody? Yeah, we got everybody. This, uh, the dirt here, it's almost like sand. It's, it's so soft where it's been uh, broken up. And this, too, now, it hasn't been too bad this year. Of course, we were here in warm weather last year. Uh, I think it was at the beginning of summer we were here. But uh, we, we had a lot of uh, strong winds come through, and it would blow this, this, this dirt. Let me show you it here. That's coffee. You don't want that. See? This is just like, almost like sand. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. And it would, it would blow that. And, you know, it was warm, so we had to keep the doors open in the van. And the van was just filled with everywhere. There was that, that dust and that sand was on everything. But it's not too bad this time of the year so far. Not too much, uh, not too much wind. Today it's pretty calm. Yesterday it was a little breezy, not bad. <laughs> we were here last year where we passed this. Uh, they've put, uh, concrete interlocking um, I don't know what you'd call those um, segments that interlock together to keep the ground from washing away because this is a you can see that there's a natural wash here that comes down from a few different directions and converges right here and goes on down so that just keeps it from washing out right here, so it kind of keeps the trail intact. Hey, boys. Gibson boy. <laughs> Gibson's an explorer. He loves to go check everything out. Let's keep going a ways, okay? You okay? And they've got those interlocking segments again, and you can see where it uh, where it drops off on the edge here. It just uh, erodes the ground away, so that that keeps it intact, so they don't have to come through after every rain and repair it. That's a good little wash going down through there. It's only going up to, I think the forecast said 48 today for the high. So it's nice walking weather. Weather. It's definitely not hot. I was listening, there was, sounds like it's a vehicle fairly close. You know, when I was talking in the, my prior video about it might even be motorcycle, 
that's fairly close. Um, I was talking about all the, the roads that have been newly blazed since we were here last year. And like I say, it's only, it's been about a year and a half, but wow, what a difference. Um, as soon as you drive in, in the, in the entrance, there's a big, uh, road that they've blazed off right to the right. When you go to the left, there's what, that's where the, uh, vault toilet is. And, uh, to the left, there's like a big area that, uh, a lot of RVs stay in, but this, uh, this was not there last year and it blazes right off of the right after you come in the entrance goes off to the right and then branches off all different directions as it goes in you know i what this all reminds me of now kind of reminds me of a um, off-road vehicle park you know, where you got roads going all different directions, too. Hey boys. I hope they're using a good backstop for shooting. It doesn't sound like it's too far away. And of course, you can shoot just, now those shots are coming from the, the direction of the uh, range. These other shots, Sound like they're coming up from this direction over here. The range is over that way. And these shots close to us here, sounds like somebody just shooting at a campsite. You see where somebody's been driving down here and they're not really supposed to, I don't think, drive on the trail here, but somebody's driven down onto the trail. Arg. You know that uh, uh, I don't know if you knew it or not, but I worked for the National Park Service as a law enforcement ranger way back in my younger days, and that was always uh, one of the tricky things to try to balance protection and conservation of the natural resources with the visitor's enjoyment of it. Because, oops, hang on. With the, uh, with the enjoyment always comes problems with uh, creating damage to the resources. I wanna show you out here if I can zoom in on it. Now we've got these uh, high tension, uh, electric lines out here but I'm gonna shoot over if I can to the other side the mountains there and that looks like about as far as I can go but if you look at this one big um, pole here straight in front of us and look beyond it towards the peaks of those mountains I, I can't tell where I'm aiming at here I'm sorry <laughs> Oh, there, I think now I got it. I mean, it's probably focusing on the uh, pole. Let me try to get off to the side here. Maybe that's better. You can see it on those peaks too, uh, just not maybe as pronounced. But there's snow on the tops of those peaks there. Yeah. 
I remember there was snow up on those peaks when we were here at the beginning of summer last year. Let me see if I can get this back. Okay. All right, boys. Sorry. Come on. Want to go just a little bit further? Some here's tracks where they've been driving through. Wonder if people even realize this is a uh, trail here that they shouldn't be driving down onto it. Probably not. Claim ignorance, right? What a pretty area this is, though, isn't it? It really is. There's more of the uh, interlocking things on the wash there. Hey, boys. Somebody else drove down in. Tracks coming right down onto the trail. And it looks like they're continuing on down. What is this? The hell? What is this? That's an awfully large hole. Is that somebody's house? Huh, I don't see a hole inside of it. I don't see anything there. Huh. <sighs> I had to pour out some of my coffee, some of the... Uh, uh, little tree things fell into my coffee while I was standing there. <laughs> ah, well, you know what? We might just uh, hold off here. If you see, let's see, let me point, see where I'm pointing to. It should be right down around there. There's a fence line. That's the fence line between the National Forest and the BLM land. So, uh, over yonder's BLM, this side's forest. But then, like, I, I think those mountains on the other side is uh, more of the forest. Forest is fairly big, you know, and like most forests, it can comprise several, several units. You can see here where people just drove right down through here. You know, uh, I don't, uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, instead of driving through the trees there, they drove around them, up around there. Arg. Uh-oh, we lost Beethoven. I just wanted to go around this corner and then we'll start back. We need to go back, find him. Yeah, there's a fence line right there, but this just, this continues a good distance on.
on down and around. Okay guys, let's go find Beethoven. All right, hey, we'll let you go. Just wanted to bring you with us on the uh, trail for a while. This is a very nice trail. <laughs> you got sagebrush caught in your tail, Elton. Find your brother. He shouldn't be too far back because uh, everybody was together for a ways there. That's what happens though if I don't look back continuously. Oh, I will lose him. All right, hey, take care, have a great day. And we will talk to you later. <laughs> hey. Okay.